Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Wolfgang Ullmann and Ion Balanel. This game was played in East Germany in 1955. Ullmann had white pieces and he started the d4. Balanel played knight to f6, knight to f3, b6, g3, bishop to b7, bishop to g2, c5. Ullmann castled kingside e6, c4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, queen to c8, attacking the pawn on c4, b3, bishop to e7, bishop to b2, d5, c takes on d5, queen to b7, pinning the pawn. How to unpin? Ullmann played e4, very clever way to unpin and to gain time. Knight takes on e4, this is at the cost of a pawn. f3, knight to f6, d takes on e6, black to move. Taking pawn was considered, Balanel castled kingside. If pawn takes pawn, knight takes on e6. So we have a castling, black expected pawn takes pawn and then rook takes pawn. But Ullmann played a better move than pawn takes pawn. What is a better move? This is the move knight to f5, rook to d8. White move. This is the most interesting moment of the game. Black Queen is under attack. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best plan for white. What did you find? White won the game in two moves on this position. First move. Pawn takes pawn, check. King takes pawn. White played a move and black resigned. The move is... Queen takes rook. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Bishop takes queen and then knight to d6, check. After say king to g6, knight takes on b7. And what about king to f8 instead of king takes pawn? How would white continue in this position? What would you do now? Then again, the queen takes on d8. Bishop takes queen. Bishop to a3 check. Bishop to e7. Bishop takes bishop. King takes pawn on f7, knight to d6 check, king takes bishop, knight takes on b7, again winning for white. Did you find the winning moves in this position? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.